Hi, my name is Emily and I'm going to talk to you about the differences and similarities between tenor guitars and banjos. Tenor guitars and banjos share a direct history. In fact, makers like Gibson and Martin made tenor guitars for tenor banjo players to double on um, in jazz band settings. For this video, I have a standard five string banjo, a tenor banjo, and a tenor guitar. The tenor banjo and the tenor guitar both only have four strings and that leads directly into tuning. But first I'm going to talk about the odd man out of this bunch, the five-string banjo. The five-string banjo is most commonly tuned to open G, and that means when you strum it, it makes a G chord. But you can also tune it to what they call the Chicago-style tuning, which is tuned like the top four strings of a guitar. So D, G, B, E. The tenor banjo, on the other hand, is most frequently tuned in fifths, and that is similar to violins, mandolins, violas. Um, it, they all come from sort of the same family. So often it either is tuned in fifths with the lowest note being a C, or tuned in fifths with the lowest note being a G. The tenor guitar is traditionally tuned in fifths, like a tenor banjo but it can also be tuned to the top four strings of a guitar. Both are very common for tenor guitarists. You can even tune it to open tunings if you want. It's a very versatile instrument, and that's what resonates with a lot of players who pick it up, is that they can take a tuning that they're familiar with and translate it directly to the tenor guitar. <laughs> One of the big differences between these instruments is the scale length. And the scale length is the distance between the nut up here and the bridge down here. It's the length across which the strings vibrate. The scale length of the tenor banjo behind me is 19 inches. This tenor guitar is 23 inches and the five string banjo is 26 inches. To put that in perspective, a Fender guitar has a scale length of 25 and a half inches. That means the five string banjo is even longer in scale length than a guitar. The biggest difference between these instruments is how they sound. Tenor guitars are guitars. They sound like guitars, and the things that will make up their overall tonal qualities include the tone wood, and that's the wood that's made out of, and in the case of electric guitars, the electronics. So everything from the pickups, to the potentiometers, to whatever you're running them through, that's going to affect the sound of the instrument. <laughs> banjo is extremely unique. You know it when you hear it. It has that, for lack of a better word, metallic quality. And that's because it's built completely differently from a guitar. A guitar is a fully wooden instrument and a banjo is essentially a drum head with strings on it. So when you strum a guitar, the vibrations travel through the strings and through the bridge and into the wood of the guitar. Well, Instead of traveling through wood for a banjo, it travels through essentially a drum head, which vibrates a lot more. And that's what makes that different sound. That's what makes a banjo sound like a banjo. Isn't that simple? That's all there is to it, folks. If you'd like to learn more about the differences and similarities between banjos and tenor guitars, visit eastwoodguitars.com. I have a full article there that goes even more in depth into the differences and similarities between these instruments, including different tunings, nut width, and playing techniques. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Emily, and I hope to see you again soon.